uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick video review for the, the Victos Leo gloves. I did a written review on this a little while ago, but I wanted to actually show you some of the things about these gloves that are, are problematic uh, to kind of put things in perspective. These are priced at $35-ish plus shipping, I believe. Um, that's what I paid for them over a year ago. Um, we'll talk about the positives first. Uh, so it has an under wrist secure, you know, strap. Um, I actually like that. That's, that's something that I am a fan of. I like the under wrist secure versus the over wrist secure because it's a lot harder to rubbing up against things, you know, like just throughout your daily course of duties or whatever for it to come on class like some of the over, some of the top wrist um, ones are. So I do like the bottom wrist. I also <clears throat> can kind of see it. I should take it off here. So you can kind of see, but that pull tab is pretty nice. I mean, it's a nice thick paracord tab. Um, has a lot of a lot of width to it, so you can really stick a finger in there and pull it on when you have to, and then just clasp it up real easy. So that's a positive. I actually do like that. Um, from an ergonomic standpoint and a number of other things. Um, the durability on these is kind of a double-edged sword. <laughs> the, as I talk about in the written review, and you can read that, um, I'll, I'll link that as well, but it is durable, rigid material, which you would think would be good, and it is from a get general durability standpoint and the stitching on it is pretty nice too I mean it, it's it's pretty durable but <laughs> that causes a number of other issues which I'm going to get into in a little bit here so as I talk about in the written review the general sizing feels off I, I typically wear an XL in these types of, of gloves the you know tactical next to skin gloves and I followed Victos's uh, sizing instructions on their website it, it told me to get an XL, still like doesn't fit right. Um, I don't know if you can see, so my palm is pretty far down. And one of the things that this rigid material ends up causing problems with is creating kind of an extra, get this just right, creates a bubble there, a pocket on both of them. And that, as we'll get into in a little bit, can affect your ability to draw and, and actually use a firearm, which is a problem for these kind of gloves, especially given who they're actually marketed at. Um, the rigid material on them as well, and, and, and uh, you know, this is where the, the negatives start to kick in, the rigid material and the actual stitching. So let's talk about the stitching first. Again, stitching feels really quite durable. Um, I did wear these for about six months as my daily drivers and they, you know, like a lot of times you get holes in the tips of the fingers. There are none. Sometimes you get like fraying or whatever. I don't, I, I, to these gloves credits, there's none of that. They're, they're pretty durable. But <laughs> let's look at the stitching first, right? So you see where the stitching falls on all really but the pinky finger. So it's right on the knuckle right on the knuckle, right on the knuckle, right on the knuckle, 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 right? And let's see if I can flip these out, inside out rather. I had a little trouble with this. So that stitching, <laughs> so that stitching you can see has a substantial amount of excess material on the inside of the glove. So that is a problem <laughs> um, because what happens is, especially as you're going through your daily, you know, duties or whatever, the more that that, the more you have to bend your fingers, which I mean, just throughout normal, daily activities, people have to bend their fingers a lot. That is going to wear down the skin. And I found that it actually, when I was really testing these, it ended up um, like <laughs> actually giving me cuts and abrasions and all that stuff on those knuckles, which 
is a problem. You know, these are marketed towards Leo, uh, you know, professionals, law enforcement professionals, as patrol and duty gloves, which means that you're going to be wearing them for eight to twelve plus hours a day for an entire shift uh, straight. You just can't wear these. You 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 cannot wear these for that period of time with that stitching as tough as it is digging into those knuckles. Uh, I had these on for just a few minutes now and they're already hurting from the you know however many 20 times that i bent them so that is a big 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 negative big problem um another thing that we're, so let's talk about the other major problem with this so i can't even function properly with this right so magazine is out nothing in the chamber so well, let's actually do this first. So the, th the thinier web space on your hand is this, this skin right here, this flap of chunk of skin in between your thumb and your index finger. It's critical for having solid grip on things. It's critical for a number of things. So these gloves, because of the rigidness of the material, there is no give. So my thinnier web space is the other glove is he, here, all the way down here. There we go. Get this lined up. There we go. It's all the way down here. So it's a good, you know, inch, three fourths of an inch up to an inch of just nonsense space, space that will affect your ability to function. Whether you're doing empty hand control stuff, whether you're doing intermediate weapon, but especially if you're drawing a firearm, you cannot get a solid grip. You just can't. It is, it is impossible. So what ends up happening is if, you're, if you have to draw down on somebody and you have to apply deadly force, you will not be able to have that solid grip. And anyone who's done combat shooting, anyone who's been trained in it knows that the, you know, Imperatives of of of, uh, of combat, you know, shooting are stance, grip, sight alignment, sight picture, and trigger control. This directly, these gloves directly affect your ability to have a solid grip and trigger control. Well, a solid grip for sure. They, I would argue that they indirectly affect your ability to have, uh, you know, trigger control, which then affects sight alignment and sight picture. Right. So. Like, even right now, I'm struggling to manage this. I'm really struggling to manage this thing. It, it, these are, this is a bad pair of gloves when it comes to actually using them for shooting or gripping anything. Um, so if you do have to draw down on somebody and you do have to actually, and we cleared the firearm, right? So um, if you do have to actually use deadly force, which you know, I hope no one has to, but if you do, um, you can, like, because of the rigidness of the material, the second that you try to actually, the second that you put your finger inside of the trigger guard and you try to, you know, maintain that solid grip, what what's going to happen? And I don't know if you can really, yeah, see if I can, can't really see it, can you? So see how there's a, see how there's that super bad rigidity in the finger. <laughs> That's specifically because I'm trying to maintain the grip on the firearm and have it up against my thinner web space. So that is directly affecting, let's see if I can get it up there again. That is, <laughs> this is really tough to do. That is, that is direct. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even show it, but that is directly affecting my ability to have proper trigger control. See how it snaps into place? It's because of the, the, the rigidity of that material. So it just does not work. It does not work for that for that purpose. And the same thing is going to go out and have my ASP on, but the same thing is going to go for if you have an intermediate weapon, if you're trying to use OC, it's, it's, you cannot maintain a solid grip on anything, even using handcuffs. I, 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 I cannot, like, I cannot imagine anybody would be able to maintain a solid grip because of that space, because of that 
excess material and the rigidity of it that has zero, like pretty much zero flex. Um, so that is a, a big, big, big problem. Uh, so all in all, I mean, I, I go over some of the other finer details in the written review that I did. I would suggest that you actually read it. Um, but overall, I'll actually show you this too. So I, I, I talk about the um, touchscreen <laughs> functionality in here, and I'm going to get this in close. So you see how there's that like plastic material? That's their touchscreen. And, and to be fair, it works fine. Like it, it works fine for using touchscreens, whether it's your squad computer or whatever the case is. It all works fine. But, <laughs> and here's the big but. Um, it's on the index finger, the middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky finger. It is not on the thumb. There's a ton of research that's gone into UX and usability when it comes to um, human machine interfacing, especially touchscreens. And the two most common fingers that are used are your index finger and your thumb. Universally, it's, it's an astoundingly high number. Nobody in any of that research uses their pinky. So the fact that they omitted that touch material from the thumbs and put it on the pinkies, to me, that, that just, it, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, and you can kind of see it's peeling off as well. It's not really, it's not really super good for a lot of, for like just the fit and finish. And yeah, I get it. It's like, oh, $35 gloves, right? I would still save your money. <laughs> um, even their higher end gloves. So I, I talk a little bit about uh, in the written review how I bought a pair of their short shots. Still not great. Still not great. Um, I would I, I, I would pass on their gloves. I don't think that their gloves are really good. Um, they have some other products that are excellent, uh, but their gloves are, are really not good. And I was so <laughs> um, turned off by these gloves that I, I really felt that I needed to talk about them a little bit and hopefully prevent, like either A, prevent other people from making the mistake of getting them, or B, maybe, maybe Victos will take their their UX design a little more seriously. But um, yeah, it it seems like to me with these gloves that Victos is going for tactical, not tactical or utilitarian. Um, I, I, and I, I just, I, these, these seem very rushed. They, they just are not really good clubs. So that's kind of my like hands on. So you can see kind of what I was trying to say in that review, but um, in that written review uh, take on these. Um, if you have questions, you can always feel free to hit me up or whatever. But um, yeah, I am, I, 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 these are a hard pass. In fact, now that I've done a video thing, I'm going to be chucking them in the trash because they're really just not good. So I hope that helps, or I hope, you know, I hope that helps your personal decisions, or I hope that may, in fact, um, help Victos make a better product down the road. We'll see.